Welcome back to the Forensic Color Classroom. Here we're going to do a demonstration how to put a stencil on top of a marmarino. This right here is Marmarino KS. If you notice, we do a light little texture on it. It's an off gray color, very modern, and we put a silver wax. Very beautiful look, very modern look, concrete look, you could say. We're going to put a beautiful stencil. It's going to look very, very nice. Make sure it's completely flat. Very, very important. So basically what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put a beautiful dune. This is our metallic dune, silver, and we tinted it to a nice blue color. Now, when you do stencils, you do not want to just rub it on like this because it could go underneath the stencil. You want to basically pat it. Okay, so you're going to put very little on your sponge. Don't overdo it and start patting. And of course, you don't want to put too much on your sponge because after you start paddling, you're going to start cleaning it. Because it might look too thick and then you don't want to just start rubbing it. You don't want to do that. So it's a little time consuming, but it's worth it. And then if you have too much on your sponge, you could go somewhere else and then come back to the area that you feel like you put so much and just start taking, taking away some. It's a very beautiful look. One of the main reasons we're showing you this is because you could do this, this beautiful look on top of a Marmarino. People are always scared to do stuff on top of Venetian plasters. They only want to do it on top of full finishing or, or on top of paint because they're scared of what's going to happen with the Venetian, but it's very simple. And if you do mess up, you can lightly sand it on the on the edges to take off the pattern. Because remember, the marmarino just absorbs it. So this was just a little quickie, nice little quick, just for the video. So you guys can see it. We're going to take it off. It gives a nice little pattern. Perfect example here on the side. We get a little sand block. And it cleans right out. And then in those little areas, I'll put some more silver wax on it. And of course, I could always make this stencil uh, more type color. I could add different colors on it and stuff like that. Thank you again for watching the Forensic Color Classroom. Beautiful Marmino KS look with a silver wax and, and a blue and a blue dune stencil on top of it.